Hello and welcome to the Vegan Corner. As you probably already know, we are Italians, and to be more specific, from Tuscany, which is where the recipe for biscotti originated. The traditional name of this amazing biscotti is Cantuccini, and because we are in love with this preparation, we are about to show you how easy it is to prepare them in the comfort of your home. Let's get started. To begin with, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the sugar and the milk into a bowl, whisk them together to partially dissolve the sugar and set aside. Place the flour, the zest, the baking powder and the vegan butter into a food processor and blitz the ingredients together until perfectly combined. This process can also be done by hand, but let me tell you that blades can do a much better job in this case. Place the flour mixture into the bowl with the sugar and start mixing the ingredients together with a spatula. As soon as the ingredients look roughly combined, mix them by hand for about 20 seconds to obtain a more uniform dough. At this point, you can add in the almonds and work them in to obtain the final dough for the biscotti. Divide the dough into two parts, roll them into sausages about 5 cm in diameter and arrange them apart on a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper or on a silicon mat. To obtain perfectly shaped biscotti, slightly flatten and square the logs before placing the tray into the oven and baking for 30 minutes. Halfway through the cooking time, rotate the tray to allow for even browning. Once the time has elapsed, remove the biscuits from the oven, lower the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius, 210 degrees Fahrenheit, and leave the biscotti to cool for 10 minutes before cutting them. Don't try to cut them immediately after the cooking process, as they will fall apart, yielding a crumble instead of cookies. Once the time is up, cut the logs into diagonal slices using a bread knife. The slices should be roughly 1.5 cm in size. Lay the slices onto the oven tray and bake them for a further 7 minutes. And once this time is up, turn the cookies over and cook for the last 7 minutes. This second part of the cooking is needed to properly dry the biscotti and to make them as crunchy as they should be. This double cooking process is in fact what gives the name to the recipe, as the name biscotti literally means twice cooked. Now simply leave the biscotti to cool down completely before eating them at once. And if you are not planning to eat them immediately, make sure to stash them somewhere safe, because they do tend to disappear quite fast, especially with kids around. For the ingredients list, you can follow the link in the description, and if you like our work, make sure to grab a copy of our ebook, which is full of our most delicious dishes and plenty of tips on cooking equipment and ingredients. Thanks for watching.